Hello, welcome back. Today we have a great topic. A fun topic. Look at the picture. Isn't that cute? If you think that is cute, comment below. If you love kids, comment below. I love kids. I think I'm... I think we're all just big kids trying to pretend that we're not. Now look at this cool effect. Watch. Oh, that is sick. So, welcome back to the Scorpio Scriptures Podcast. I'm your host, Master J. This is where we talk about astrology, all things Scorpio-related, and the expansion of consciousness. So today... We're going to expand on the consciousness of children. My favorite people on the planet. I have a baby niece. And I have a lot of whatever I guess I can call small kid relatives. They are funny and entertaining. You can't be not happy around them. They're just so happy. They say the 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 the, the old people should hang out with the kids so they don't they do not lose their spark of life right because you become who you hang around if you hang around adults too much you kind of become jaded hang around some children see the incredible things that entertain them and their imagination which does create our reality so let's begin today we're going to talk about how to raise scorpio children if you have kids if you're really deep into astrology i assume what you did was get a birth chart when your child was born, right? <laughs> or you went, oh, shoot. We did it around New Year's or maybe Valentine's Day or somewhere in between there. And now I got a Scorpio. Freak, what do I do? So you ended up on this video. <laughs> or your kid has Scorpio placements and you're like, hey, this is good. So let's get into it. This would be for children. So let's say under 10, under age 10, right? And then we're gonna have another video at the end of this video, and you, uh, in the recommended, and you'll find the one on a Scorpio daughter and a Scorpio son going on the older ages. But this is for the children. So it is said by age three, the personality of a child is already formed. So to raise a Scorpio child, uh, you really want to observe his or hers movements in the world because. Out of all children, the Scorpio children will be the most interesting because they are likely to have very, very, excuse me, very, very strong gifts that should be encouraged to grow, as all children do. But the Scorpio children will have something that you will know about them uh, immediately, which makes them different. Now, when your child, or when the Scorpio child is growing, what you want to remember is the child is born under the influence of Mars and Pluto. War! So, war is what this child will really function on, and a lot of crying and a lot of intense anger. The number one thing is to never let your child think Life is about going to war with you because they will grow up and and as their subconscious mind and their mind forms and their identity forms, they will ultimately see you as an enemy. So life will, for them will be as your child will become a battle with you, right? Mom or dad won't be mom or dad. It will be my mom or dad, which I am constantly going to war with. And I know that is tough, but... You kind of want to be there to guide your Scorpio child and push them to their growth and give them another enemy to fight against so it is not you. <laughs> you know, the <laughs> you, want to, you want to help them, right? What I always talk about the unevolved Scorpio and the evolved Scorpio, you can check out the test in the link in the description for the Scorpio man. But the unevolved Scorpio is really a Scorpio who was a child and their energies or uh, was not shown how to be channeled in the right direction, right? Or morality was not instilled in them. So you want to see, uh, what you want to do is you want to observe your child's gifts. And, you know, likely your child's like you because they are another version of you, right? Best traits and strong traits and perhaps weaknesses, you'll see them inside of them. So you'll inherently know them. But what you want to be able to do is to be able to help this kid channel their energy and understand their lessons. Uh, most likely what you will deal with is extreme anger and destructive emotions. 
an outburst of rage. So you don't want to be fighting your kid, right? Because, you know, you're an adult, right? You don't want to be going to war with this child. You want to be training this child to channel their warlike nature. And this is what's going to help your kid uh, really grow up, right? If they have heavy Scorpio energy, is to understand what it is, right? When a kid's like four or five, they're not really going to come out of the womb evolved. And your job is to ultimately guide them, really, to tap into their gifts and to understand these uh, type of lessons of pain and anger and being able to be someone that they, they look up to, right? You don't want to be the one that they fight, that they have this energy of constantly fighting and, you know, because they, they'll see you as a battle, right? If you, it's a way to frame this with children. It's one, you can be the bad guy, and then they'll just see you as a bad guy forever. But it's two, you can be uh, not really a bad guy, but more of a teacher, more of a guide, more of a mentor, showing them through the ropes of life and teaching them the tough lessons. Because they will. I mean, all babies cry, right? I think so. Never met a baby that doesn't cry. But these babies, they will be extremely mad. They'll be extremely intense. And they might shut down very often. So when you notice these common Scorpio things of shutting down and pushing away their emotions and getting angry. That's when you really want to nip it in the bud before they can grow up and they can be what I call the ain't shit ass Scorpio. Right? Now that, that, That's where a lot of these problems come from. It comes from childhood. And it could come from not understanding your kid's uh, nature very well. That's, this is why these things are very important. You do this right. Uh, you know, you, you can help this person get through things, especially in the next videos that are going to come up where it's on the Scorpio daughter and Scorpio son when they get into teenage to adulthood. It's very different for both of them. So uh, a good base and a great childhood. But understanding, right? You want to understand each child because each child has their different nature. And Scorpio is kind of like it's going to be by nature destructive and wanting to fight things and wanting to battle with things. So you have to show them to channel this violent nature and explosive nature and, you know, teach them the consequences, teach them how to navigate through the world, teach them that, you know, we shouldn't hold grudges or be angry at people for so long because it's bad for their health and it's bad for other people. So things like that, when you have a Scorpio child, right, you can teach them these very important lessons that they'll carry on into adulthood. Because if these lessons aren't taught, then they stay, they can stay unevolved, or they can go through much more turbulence and trauma. Uh, not turbulence, just tumultuous experiences. Which as parents, right, you want your kid to grow up, be the best kid in the world. And each person will incarnate into this world with certain lessons that they may need to learn, may need to learn. And this is a very important part of one of them. So I appreciate your support. And now we're going to move on to the Scorpio daughter and Scorpio son. Next. Hit the like if you like these skulls. Or comment below if you think it's cute. I think that's cute. I think that's pretty cute. Look at the Scorpio babies. It's pretty cute. 